hello guys welcome to this channel in this video i will show you how to create this cream jar animation video let's move to the shoot 6 shoot one over here right click duplicate collection and let's name this one shoot 6 press a to select everything let Next, delete, delete all of the keyframe, and select this camera, make it active, just like this. We're gonna create a simple animation. Press Alt G, Alt R, Alt G, Alt R. For this object, we only need the cup. Just safely to duplicate it. Press G. Let's put it somewhere here and press Alt P. Clear the parent. Okay, and press Alt G. And press G. Let's put it here for now. Move this to shoot 6 and jar 5. And this jar. This one. This one. Right click the collection. Delete hierarchy. Just disable this EMP. Change this one to Toset Browser how to have this 3d asset library you can check out my other video and we're gonna select flower here just click and drag like this scale it like this let's put it here press less on your keyboard press alt g let's focus on this object and we need to tap to edit mode alt z to see the x-ray view we only need like three flower here just drag like this press x delete the vertices delete this one drag again like this press ctrl l x delete the vertices and select all of this flower like this press ctrl l x delete vertices what you only need to do it just separate all of this object let's see the metro render preview press C just click like this And press Ctrl L. X to the vertices. Okay, I guess this is enough. Let's try to add another flower. Select this one and just drag like this. Just to scale it. This one. And let's adjust this one. Let's put it here, I guess. Yeah, probably something like this and this one. Let's put it here. Rotate it maybe like this. Move it up a little bit. Just like this. Let's try to add a plan. Let's select if any plan we can use here. Let's use this one, just to scale it, put it here, maybe. Yeah, I guess something like this. Let's change it to solid view. Press A to select everything and press H to hide everything. Let's press Shift A, add a cube, press S to scale it, and press 4, scale it 4 times, like this. Press Shift Z to X-ray view. We're gonna create a liquid simulation. And let's move this one to shoot 6, new collection, name this liquid. And name this one to 
domain, press shift A, add a UV sphere, just put it here, name this one effector, let's move it to shoot 6, liquid, and shift A again, I could spear here, just to scale it down a little bit like this, let's put it here, and this one G X put it here and this one name it flow and let's move it to shoot 6 liquid select your domain here fluid change fluid change it to domain change gas to liquid border collision here disable everything over here change it to 90 Type here, just click R and enable resumable. Select our effector here, fluid, change it to effector, and select this flow, fluid, change it to flow, and change the smoke to liquid. Check this initial velocity. We want it to move on the x axis. Let's click minus 10 maybe and go over here at your domain, field wake here, gravity make it zero and let's try to make it. Okay, we have something like this. Let's free all, let's just change it to mesh and bake again. Free all. Let's scale up for flow here, like this, and select our geometry resolution here, change it to 15, and back all again. Let's see the result. We have a result like this. Let's increase the power. Let's free all again. Select our flow here. Let's increase here, initial x, let's make it minus 20. And select your domain, and let's back all. Let's see the result. We have a result like this. Yeah, I guess it's enough. And let's free all again, let's increase the resolution by 100 it's gonna make my computer slow down don't forget to save your project and let's bake it we are done here with the baking our liquid let's see I'm gonna select this frame go over here modifier I'm gonna apply this modifier it's like this now we have an object like this. Let's just delete this one and disappear. Right click, shade smooth. And let's add a modifier. Deform, smooth corrective, smooth here, change simple to length weight. And over here, let's find something a little bit smoother. Okay, just like this. And just apply this one and press Alt Edge to bring back everything. Go to camera view here, Shift Z, and select our liquid here. We need to rotate it like this. Press G, put it back here, scale it like this. Yep, just like this. Let's see the render preview. Go to the last frame. Let's add a material for our liquid. Shader editor, changes to object. New material, just name this one liquid. And turn down the roughness. Transmission here. Increase transmission. And change the IOR to 1.33. Just like this. 
and for animation let's run back our EMP here select our camera 16 frame here and while location here right click insert single keyframe and go to the first frame press GY let's zoom in like this right click insert single keyframe go to the last frame here this background let's move it back scale this up select our liquid here press I insert keyframe the scale let's move to frame 14 scale it down scale it down just like this press I scale okay we will have effect like this and let's change to grab editor press home drag like this rotate it okay and let's hide this first we gonna animate this one this object let's press alt G and alt R reset location and rotation press slash right click here set origin to geometry press alt G again alt R or maybe tap to edit mode A to select everything R to rotate it like this tap to the object mode and press shift A or the empty empty cube and let's move this up here select this empty cube as to scale it on the z-axis let's put it somewhere here as to scale it without the z-axis like this okay probably like this and select this object and this empty press ctrl p set parent object keep transform press less again at the last frame and let's adjust it let's hide this first let's rotate it i guess like this okay let's look good yeah probably like this let's scale it yep and rotation here press i insert rotation location here press i insert location and go to frame one press g z twice move it down here r twice let's make it move like this and rotation press i let hit spacebar okay probably like this and this object press less press alt r alt g shift a empty cube scale it like this put it something like this control p object transform press less again go to the last frame let's set this up again Yep, just like this. Press I, location and rotation. Go to first frame. Press G, Z twice. Just move it here. And rotate it like this little bit. Press I, location, rotation. Let's hit spacebar. Let's bring back our liquid. Let's see the result. Okay, it's cool. And where is our fern? This one? This fern? Press I, insert location and rotation maybe. Go to the first frame, press GZ. Let's move it down like this. Press I, insert the location rotation. Hit the spacebar. Okay, this is good. First frame here. 
this cup z location right click insert single keyframe and frame 17 here let's close this one press gz move it down like this right click insert single keyframe let's see the result Okay, just like this. This one, it's a problem, I guess. It looks too big. Probably we need to move here. Yep, and here, press N, zero location here, insert single keyframe. And then just move it down like this. Right click, single keyframe. Let's see. Yep. It's okay. And the camera, frame 16. Let's, yep, just move it here. Location here, just press I. Go to first frame. Let's adjust this one. Probably like this. GY. Yep, like this. And press I, insert keyframe. Spacebar. Camera object data property. Let's add a depot field. Click this eyedrop and click our product. Jar here. Let's change it to the material preview. And let's turn down the F stop here. Okay, just like this. I guess we are done here. Thank you for watching.